This is calculator question number 22 from the May 2019 International SAT. College Board gives us a scatter plot and asks which is the line of best fit. And looking at this, we see the y-intercept at years since 1968 equals zero is about 15,000 or so. Choices A and C have a y-intercept of 16,000. B and D have a y-intercept more like 5,000, which would be down at this single point, but that's not on the line of best fit, so B and D are not correct. The next question is the slope. I can calculate the slope by taking two points from the line of best fit, or I can simply choose one, and I'm going to choose C and put it into y equals on my calculator, and at t equals zero, I get 16,090, which is my intercept, and that's at least reasonable for the graph. At y equals 10, I get 106,000. y equals 10 is off the scale. That does not match the line of best fit, so choice C cannot be the correct answer. If I change that slope to 4680, now at t equals 0, I still have 16,090, which is compatible with the graph, and at t equals 10, I get 62,000 which is believable for the graph that does fit the line of best fit. So which could be the equation for line of best fit would be only choice A because B and D have the wrong y-intercept and choice C has the wrong slope. College Board often asks you to find the equation for the line of best fit and the most efficient way is often to check the slope and the intercept or to just put it into your calculator and choose one that matches. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.